السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس سکس گرامر پیج نمبر تھرٹی تھری لیکچر نمبر ایٹ یونٹ نمبر ایٹ اینڈ دا یونٹ نیم از دا ناؤنس ناؤنس سمپل ڈیفینیشن آف ناؤن از نیم ناؤن مین نیم نیم آف اینی تھنگ پلیس اور پرسن ایچ نیم آف دا ان دا ورلڈ از کالڈ ناؤن نیمنگ ورڈس آر کالڈ ناؤنس What is noun? We will read from the book. The word noun means name. The word around us is full of things. We use most of these words in our everyday life. These things fall into several classes, persons, place, objects and materials. All these things are made up of matter. So, they have concrete forms. Concrete forms. We have also given names to things that have no concrete forms. They have no bodies either. In other words, they are abstract. Okay. First one is concrete and second is abstract. Keep in your mind these two words. We can simply feel them or think for them. Such things include qualities, feelings, actions, strats, arts, subjects, skills etc while abstract abstract noun is the name of any quality feeling action state art subject or skill concrete persons places objects and materials name of person place object and material come in concrete noun and abstract feelings qualities actions and states are subjects skills etc nouns cover both these classes of things concrete and abstract the name given to each of these things is a noun examples of concrete nouns observe the following sentences napoleon was a great general my father is a famous doctor clerk mac and chelsea are friends the postman is a useful public servant misty and i are brother and sister all the words in bold type are names used for people okay keep in your mind these all names are for people bold form mean jo mota karke likha gaya some of these names are particular while others are common so we will read next more common observe the following sentences london is a large city in b part observe the following sentences london school bus stand forest roof these are names of places in a part names of people then places and next object in c part there are objects names of objects is like dog animal sheep bears grapes cloths such kind of words are names of objects now we will read we have study in a b and c d given above the names of people places animals things all of them have concrete bodies so their names are concrete nouns having body so that's why concrete nouns those things which have body proper body these are called their names are called concrete nouns examples of abstract nouns in bold form we will read kindness beauty patience goodness boldness qualities these are kinds of abstract noun b part observe the observe the following sentences poverty everybody slavery youth innocence prosperity friendship and all other states are kind of abstract noun now next page page number 
after reading this page number 35 you have to read this thoroughly and find out the nouns abstract nouns from these examples now there is definition a noun is the name of person place animals things quality feelings an action or art etc you will learn this definition two major kinds of nouns clearly all the things of in the world fall into two major classes concrete things and abstract things a number of examples of both these types of things have been studied so nouns to to fall into two major classes concrete nouns and abstract nouns these two kinds of nouns can be defined as given below now you will open page number 36 you will learn definition from here page number 36 concrete noun a concrete noun is the name of concrete thing concrete thing a thing with the material body examples boy school cow chair abstract noun an abstract noun is the name of an abstract things a thing with thing without without a material body abstract nouns are included qualities states feelings actions and arts examples wisdom childhood sorrow race music poverty next exercise sort out the noun in each sentence write it in the blank and write c or a c for concrete a for abstract with it to show whether it is concrete or abstract this story cannot be believed story story is a concrete or abstract then call all these children here children furthermore you will solve this exercise by your own self 